Skip, it tells me that most people, regardless of the situation, mm -hmm. are resistant to change. We see that in today's society. People like the status quo, especially if it's not upsetting of them. Um, the Lions front office, they hired him knowing that he was going to implement these changes. Now, Jim Caldwell went to the playoffs. He was there four years. He went to the playoffs half the time. Normally, people, they, they would stick with that. Mm. Clearly, this was not about a winning situation. They wanted the culture change. By the way, on your Caldwell point, he was really good. Yeah. I'm looking at the records. <laughs> 11-5, and 9-7, and 9-7, and 7-9, seven, seven and nine, but two playoffs. playoffs. That'll work. I mean, who wouldn't want that? Obviously, that wasn't good enough for but them. But he's not Bob Quinn's guy, and Bob Quinn came from New England. Go ahead. Right. And, that's, and the thing is, and see, the players, they look, at, they look at Coach Patricia, and when they hear him talk, I don't know if they feel if that's really him or that's Bill Belichick because he's coming from the Patriots, and that, and that happened with Josh McDaniel, Skip, even when he was in Denver. They just felt that that was not him. He was trying to be something that he wasn't. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is that these veteran guys, Coach Caldwell was way over here. They kind of liked it. Matt Patricia is way over here. Way. They don't like it. Nope. So the, you got to come to, and, 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 and if it's, it's going to help us win, I could never understand, Skip. I came in, Dan Reeves was my head coach. I couldn't understand why if I had my helmet on, I had to have my chin strap button. What did that? I wasn't even in the game. I wasn't at practice at the time. How does that help me win? Or I couldn't sit on my helmet. That was going to help. What I, I know Dan Reeves very well, <laughs> and he's about as old, hard school old, as you Old can school. Get. Yep. But see, Skip, every, every coach that I had after that was a piece of cake. You were lucky that you didn't have Dan the whole time. I well, don't know if you, you would have lasted with well, it. Well, I could have I dealt with it, Skip, because I came in and got him when I was young. Maybe. It's the thing is that... But when, I think, Mike, you got a blessing. Oh, yeah, yeah, with, with the right. practice schedule. Yep. But see, these veteran guys, they have Jim Caldwell. Yep. He was a certain type of way. Maybe he's a lot easier on the veteran players. Matt Patricia comes in and Coach Belichick's system, everybody gets treated the same. Yep. Vet, rookie, first year, it doesn't matter. Yep. This is the way I'm going to treat you. Yep. But the players need to understand there's a reason why Matt Patricia's here. Now, you, we might not, you might not agree with why he's here or how he got there, but you got to at least give him a mm -hmm. chance. You got to try to buy into some of these principles. Mm -hmm. You might not like them all, but you got to give him a chance. Now, we heard some of this stuff bubble up in OTAs and in minicamp skip. Mm -hmm. And when you lose your home over in a 48-17, chaos is going to break out. Mm -hmm. But I think they got to give him the benefit of the doubt. This is not nearly long enough. And I know, what does taking a picture in the locker room posting on social media, Skip, how does that help me win or lose games? And see, that's what players need to see. I mean, it how does it help you win or lose debates? <laughs> yeah. well, what? Right? I'm not posting. I'm just well, asking. Skip, I'm just asking. Skip. Why are you You're follow posting now too? I'm not Why is he following me on Insta? Me. Why you follow me on Insta? What? IG. Why you bother follow. me? Yeah, you do. I hear it from other people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, stay off my page. I'm, I'm <laughs> oh, okay. You. I'm, I'm gonna not on you. your. I follow nobody. Nobody on Twitter. Nobody on in Instagram. Zero. But I believe Skip for me, and I know Coach I know Matt Patricia is try, trying to do what he's doing. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the mm -hmm. doubt. I hold the players because the players got to They got to understand. He's doing what he thinks will give them the best opportunity to win games. And I don't think the players have been fair and open-minded enough mm -hmm. to give him that opportunity. Okay. So to your, your big picture point about let's not overreact just yet, they were seven-point home favorites over the Jets, <laughs> and they lost 48-17. to 17. I cannot imagine a more nightmarish debut. No. Right? Yes. Now to my pet peeve before I get to my real point. But my pet peeve about NFL hiring is help me out here. What qualifies an assistant coach who's <laughs> never been a head coach, who's coached only under a great head coach, right. to suddenly become a great head coach elsewhere? What qualifies him? What experience does he have running a football team? How about zero? Unless he's been a head college coach somewhere, right. or maybe he's a failed head coach elsewhere in the league right. who's come as an assistant. Right. Mm -hmm. But what qualified Matt Patricia to be the head coach of the Detroit Lions? Seriously, I ask you, look at his resume and show me what qualified him. Nothing. Because everybody was, believes Coach okay. Belichick called the defense. Thank you. It's Bill Belichick's defense. It's his concept. It's his philosophy. Mm -hmm. you're, you're simply a product of all that philosophy. Mm -hmm. You've come up under Bill Belichick. Right. You are kind of like a son to him. I'm sure he, you know, he meant a lot to Coach Belichick. He sort of took him under his wing and all that. But still, 
Bill Belichick's making all the tough defensive calls, all the game changers, all the lineup changes, all, anything that really mattered, Coach Belichick did it, yeah, right? Correct. Okay, so did Matt Patricia ever have a couple of weeks a year where Bill would say, you, you run the whole show, you, you do the team meetings, you, you do – I you, doubt it. No, there just wouldn't – it wouldn't happen. So he's not qualified to be a head coach. So all he knows is – I got to be Belichick. Mm -hmm. I got to do exactly what Bill did. I'm right. going to turn into Bill Belichick. You're not Bill Belichick. No. You don't have his personality. You don't have his edge. Right. Mm -hmm. You're you're actually kind of you you're seen in New England as the good cop. Right. You know you were the guy in the hall who actually spoke to people. Right. Belichick spoke to nobody. The players love Matt because Maddie P. You right. know they call him Matt <laughs> James Harrison calls him Matty P. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's he's a players coach, and all of a sudden he turned into somebody. He is not. Right. So if we quickly look at the Belichick coaching tree, Charlie Weiss, I love it. We have him on the show occasionally. He's a good guy, but he had never been a head coach before, and he turned out not to be a very good head coach. Mm -hmm. Romeo Cornell is a great guy who mm -hmm. turned out not to be a very good head coach. Josh McDaniels, I think as a coordinator, he's really he's good. Really good. But if you ask him to run the whole show and try to turn into Bill Belichick, what happened? Disaster happened, they right? Hate, they hate they put hate. it like this. They hated him more in Denver than they, they hate Matt Patricia in Detroit. So far, yes. well, we'll see how that plays out. But that's building, huh? Our friend Eric Mangini. I, I love Eric, but again, what had qualified him to be a head coach, and he did have that one breakout first year with the Jets when they went 10 and 6. They got made the playoffs and lost the first playoff game, but then his total coaching record in both obviously New York and Cleveland, 144 and 203. Eh, not bad, but not great. And then Bill O'Brien, has he been a real success in Houston? He, he's 31 and 34. They made the playoffs twice at 9 and 7 because of the division they got to play in. Am Correct. I right? Correct. So is he a great head coach? I don't know, and that brings us back to Matt Patricia. He, you, you, you can't. The, what, what happened? What was the worst thing that happened on Monday night? Matt Stafford Stafford. happened. Right. He threw four interceptions. Right. Well, Tom Brady doesn't throw four. He's had some four interception games, but he's not going to routinely throw four interceptions right. like We've that. We've seen more of those games from Matt Stafford. I'd say a whole lot more. Yes. So we're back to you know what I think, and we're dug in on this, but. You say he's leaving Bill Belichick. Well, I say he's also leaving Tom Brady. Oh, no question. Who, who is a, the leader of the team, yes. and it's like a one-two punch. I think he's 1A to 1B, but whichever way, if you leave both of those guys and don't underestimate the power of Tom Brady in the locker room and in the organization, yes. all of a sudden, you know, again, I think Tom is the sun and Bill is the moon. The moon's not a bad thing, but it, it's not the sun. Mm -hmm. So the point is that they're, it is the sun and the moon. Well, why would people keep going to that well and keep hiring a Belichick assistant? Because they're, they're probably going to fail you. Probably. Probably, probably the, the best known example, Skip, of a hit of a, a guy being an assistant and becoming a head coach and being great at it is probably Bill Walsh yeah. because he was under Paul Brown. And then he got his own he got his own gig in San Francisco, and we know what you happened. Know how long it took him to get? There? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yes, he was yes. like fifty something when he yes. finally got a head coach, and, it, and he was a bridesmaid as a, a a hire. You know, he kept finishing second, second, second. And here's the thing, guys: when you hire a mm. Patriots assistant, you're not getting Belichick, and mm. you're not getting Tom Brady. So I know you're expecting those kinds of results, but unless you hire Belichick and he somehow finagles Tom Brady to come out of there with him. You're not going to enjoy that kind of yeah. success. Well, and so my only advice for Matt Patricia is you should have been Matty P. You, maybe you should have been a player's coach. Maybe you should have gone soft on them where they would love you. you, you, you know? Skip, you can't go all the way. Because yeah. you look at Jim Caldwell's demeanor and you look at Matty yeah. P., Matt Patricia's demeanor, you got to come to somewhere in the middle. And the players... Well, in the end, you better be you or you're going to fail. Oh, yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. At the end of the day, that's the most important thing. Yeah. They can't look up there and think that's Coach Belichick mouth moving, but they see your body. <laughs> And that's what they try. So Skip, they, they 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 try that, because but that's what they know. Skip, I mean, you when if you become a teacher, your most influential teacher, those are the techniques that you're going to use. Yeah. So that's what they trained up under. That's who they were groomed by. So naturally, they resort. Well, this is what Bill would have done. This is what Bill would have said. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you got to be you, mm. or the players are going to see it and like, nah, bro, that, get out of here. Get out of here. Got to be real to yourself. <laughs>